Hey guys, so in today's video we are going to use a flow to count the total amount of closed one opportunities for each account inside Salesforce. So I'm here in Salesforce and you'll see that I have an account pulled up in a developer environment. I created a new field called total opportunities one and this is just a currency field with the uh, length of 16 and decimal places set to 2. So I put it on the account layout and for this particular account, United Oil and Gas Corp, I created a report to show all of the closed one opportunities for this account and that amount is $2,100,000. And so what our flow will do, it's going to look at all these opportunities, get this total and then enter it in this field. So I'm going to head to the setup menu. I'm going to navigate to flows so that we can start building our flow. I'll press new flow. And the record or the flow type that I'm going to select is a scheduled triggered flow. I think that's going to be the most common use case for this sort of automation where once a night, maybe three in the morning, five in the morning, something like that, this flow will run and then count all the opportunities and update the accounts. I'll press create. My personal preference is to use the uh, freeform layout here. If you want to follow along with the auto layout, that's totally fine. For the schedule, I am going to enter uh, today's date and I am going to enter, right now it's 324 local time. I'm going to put in 330 p.m. and we can just see if I can get it done by then. Frequency, for this flow, I'm just going to run it once. If you were actually building this um, to run for your company, you would probably want to do daily. Um, but for me, I'll just do one time. The object that I will select will be the account object because that is where we want to start. We want it to update for all accounts in Salesforce, so I'm just going to change the condition requirements to none, run for all accounts. I'll press done, and then I'm going to save my flow save it early, just call it account, update total one opportunities, and I'll press save. So we're getting a warning, it says the flow can't run because nothing is connected to the start element, and we will take care of that right now. So I'm going to close that box. The next step is to drag a get records to the canvas and we are going to get every single opportunity that is related to this account. So I'm going to look for objects that are opportunities and specifically we need those opportunities where the account ID of the opportunity is the same as the account ID of the account that we're currently working on. And we can do that by selecting the record from the global variable dropdown, clicking that, scrolling down, and we're looking for ID from the list, which is right here. So I'll select that. And down here at the bottom, we have an option to select how many records we would like to store. I'm going to select all records. Now, it's very important that we add a second condition here. And that condition is that the stage of the opportunity equals closed one. In this case, we are looking for the closed one opportunities. If you didn't, if you just wanted to count of the open opportunities or if you wanted to uh, filter the amount that you're searching for in a different way, you could do that here. Because we are looking for the closed one opportunity count, we will include that stage uh, condition here. So I'm going to press done. I'll connect the start to the get records. And the next step is to go to the left hand side here in the toolbox, press manager. I need to create a new resource, so I'll do that. And this resource will be a variable. And we'll call this total one amount. Total one amount. And the data type for this will be a currency. And decimal places can be two. And it's very important that we set the default value to zero. That way, we're st we have a baseline of zero when the flow starts. I'm going to press done. I'm going to go back to the elements in the toolbox and our next step is to loop through every opportunity that we found. So I'm going to drag a loop element to the canvas and I will say uh, count closed one amount 
and the collection variable that we are going to iterate through will be the opportunity collection that we created from our get opportunities. I'm going to press done and then connect the get records to the loop. Straighten this out a little bit. One of the benefits of the auto layout is you never have to straighten it out. Now I'm going to take an assignment from the logic section, drag that to the canvas, and we will call this update count. And what we're going to do here is have the loop update our total one amount variable by adding the amount from the current item in our loop for the opportunity, specifically the opportunity amount. So the way this reads is that for every opportunity in the loop, it's going to update our variable with the amount of that opportunity. So I'll press done, and then I'm going to connect the loop to our assignment. And we are going to say for each item in the collection, because we do want to count every single opportunity that we found. And after the assignment, we just want it to go back to the start of the loop. So this will run and account every opportunity amount that we found above. And once we have that updated, all we need to do is go update the account. So I'm going to drag an update records to the canvas. I'll call it update account. And we are going to use the account record global variable, which is the same as the account that kicked off this flow. Here in the field, I'm just going to put in the custom field we made called total opportunities one and I'm going to enter the value, which is our variable. And that's been updated inside the flow. I'll press done and connect the loop to the update records. And we see that it says after the last item, meaning that our loop has processed every single opportunity, which is again, what we want. Now I'm going to press save. And local time is currently 329. So I'm going to activate the flow. We have one minute to spare. Oh local time just changed. So let's see if I got it in time. The total opportunities one field is blank. If I refresh and look at the details, I activated the flow just in time, but we see that the total opportunity one amount now matches the amount that we saw on our report earlier, which I think is right here. We can verify that the flow ran for all the accounts in Salesforce by opening up the Accounts tab in a new uh, browser tab. We can switch to All Accounts in Salesforce. And then in the List View customization, we could add our Total 1 Opportunities field to the List View. I'll scroll to the bottom. I'll select our custom field and move it to the right and press Save. And we see here that the total opportunities one field for all of these or all of these accounts has been updated. So because I told the flow to only run once, this is the only time it will run. But if you set the frequency to daily, this process would fire on a daily basis. So to summarize what we learned, we learned that in order to count the total number of one opportunities, we need a custom field on the account. We need to build a flow that runs on the account object. It can run for every account. We first look up the opportunities related to that account, and we specify the exact stage for the amounts that we want to calculate. Next, we create a variable called the total one amount. We then loop through every opportunity, updating our variable along the way. And then when the loop ends, we take our updated variable and use that to update the field on our account. Hey guys, hope you found that helpful. Let me know in the comments what other flow videos you'd like to see and make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps out the channel. If you're interested in learning more about Salesforce flows, make sure to check out my course on Udemy. There's a link in the description. It has over eight hours of in-depth Salesforce flow tutorials designed to turn you into a flow ninja. With that said, have a great day.